हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी विल नाउ डिस्कस एन इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर्स दैट इज नथिंग बट इंड्यूस्ड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड पोटेंशियल वेरिएशन इन ग्रेडेड सेमी कंडक्टर्स व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ग्रेडेड सेमी कंडक्टर्स द ग्रेडेड सेमी कंडक्टर्स आर दो सेमी कंडक्टर्स इन व्हिच द कंसंट्रेशन इज वेरिंग अक्रॉस द लेंथ ऑफ द सेमी कंडक्टर इन एनी डायरेक्शन so i am assuming a p type semiconductor bar here and we are assuming that concentration is increasing continuously in this direction say this end is x and it is x equal to 0 and it is increasing towards this end at any point of time say this is x1 and this is x2 as uh, uh, rather saying at any point say at x equal to x1 the volt the concentration is p1 and at x equal to x2 concentration is p2 now we will see when there is concentration gradient inside the semiconductor what will happen the charge carriers will try to flow from higher concentration level to lower concentration level but this will happen when charge carriers are free but in this case when it is graded semiconductor the concentration is not constant it is varying with the distance so that diffusion current because of the flow of charge carriers from higher concentration to lower concentration is counterbalanced by the drift current why because it is open ended semiconductor so to oppose the diffusion current net current inside the semiconductor bar is zero but we have just seen we have discussed in earlier topic that there is a flow of charge carriers from higher concentration level to lower concentration level so logically there should be flow of charge carriers from this level to this level because this is at higher concentration this is at lower concentration but bar is open circuited if bar is open circuited there is no closed path so in that case what will happen this current which is because of flow of charge carriers from this side to this side will be counterbalanced by an induced field induced field here say it is even here it is e2 that field will be automatically induced inside the semiconductor and that field will cause when there is electric field there is potential gradient and when there is potential gradient there is drift current so that diffusion current because of flow of charge carriers from this side to this side will be counterbalanced by drift current from this side to this side because of the induced electric field or induced potential so remember since bar is open circuit there is concentration gradient so there will be two components of current and the net current will be zero so here the total current inside the semiconductor bar jp will be equal to q mu p multiplied by p electric field e is minus q dp dp by dx that will be the total current inside the semiconductor bar and that is equal to zero remember this so net current inside the semiconductor will be zero so this gives mu p into p multiplied by e is equal to q dp dp by dx and that is equal to zero so that is what you have net this will be equal to and p and this q q and q will be cancelled out so that is what you have so here mu p into p multiplied by e will be equal to dp dp by dx so this gives you can take uh, dp on this side so p mu p by or p equal to dp into e by mu p into dp by dx so here you have electric field e 
into p is equal to dp by mu p is nothing but thermal voltage that is vt dp by dx or i can rewrite what is e e is nothing but potential gradient dv by dx electric field is potential gradient so you can rewrite this relationship like this i'll write nothing but minus x is equal to vt dp by p uh, uh, vt by p into dx or you can simply say minus dv is equal to vt dp by p and if you integrate both sides so integrating both sides what do we have minus integration of dv equal to vt integration of dp by p now from this end to this end concentration here voltage here is v1 it is v2 concentration here is p1 it is p2 so this gives minus v2 minus v1 is equal to vt ln p ln p and this will be ln p what from p1 to p2 or this gives v1 minus v2 is equal to vt ln p2 by p1 or this gives uh, voltage v12 is equal to vt thermal voltage ln p2 by p1 so this is important expression you may have to find that type of variation in the exam here the variation please see this from this equation say this is equation one so from equation one what do we get this is the potential variation and from equation one you get electric field induced electric field is nothing but vt upon p multiplied by dp by dx so this is induced electric is important so you get induced electric field you get induced voltage so these are important expression there can be numerical in gate or there can be question in engineering services prelims there can be conventional question in IES mains so now it has got a very important application this topic has an application that application is what what is that application application is basically variation in potential in step graded junction what is the meaning of step graded junction now let us consider that is one of the application say you have the graded junction that is graded semiconductor step graded semiconductor step graded semiconductor means say this is a diode which has concentration of force on this side and this is N side and there is junction area you can please see this there is a junction area here so if you see the variation in concentration gradient here on this side we have one level of on P side concentration of holes is high why because holes are majority carriers so I'll say concentration of holes on P side is PP concentration of holes on p side is pp and this is approximately equal to the acceptor concentration if you remember i told when you have p type material the concentration of holes on p side in this case is almost same as the concentration of acceptor impurity now on this side say this side we have concentration of holes on n side and that is nothing but minority carrier concentration concentration of holes on n side is minority carrier concentration and if you remember the law of mass action that is nothing but ni square upon donor concentration so i repeat concentration of holes on p side of this is this is a step graded junction what is the meaning of step graded junction the concentration is suddenly changing from higher level to lower level that is known as step graded 
so in case of step graded junction the concentration level is having abrupt change from pp to pn this is approximately equal to acceptor concentration and this is approximately equal to ni square upon nd as per law of mass action and if you remember say this is i take point 1 here and this is point 2 here and i have given you the expression voltage v1 voltage v1 minus v2 is equal to thermal voltage ln and that was nothing p2 by p1 that is what we had this is two second side that is two second side this is first first side and what is here p1 here is equal to pp and that is approximately equal to an a and p2 here is equal to what pn and that is approximately equal to what an a square upon and d as per law of mass action so what do we get v1 minus v2 is equal to vt ln what is p2 and i square upon nd and what is p1 and a that is p1 is pp that is an a so you get this relationship now here visualize one case you will see it later in case of pn junction diode i'll take that case when you have the junction formation here so what will happen the electrons from this side will jump to this side holes from this side to will jump this side on n side we have donor impurity which has positive ion so in this case in this area because of recombination of electron hole pairs the bound charges of impurity will be exposed so this will become negative this will become positive and our potential is induced here like this why so this is side v1 this is side v2 and this potential induced is v0 so potential this potential is known as that is potential barrier and potential barrier across potential barrier across step graded junction that is step graded junction is given by what is v0 that is v2 minus v1 so if you see here that will be equal to v0 equal to minus you can see this this is v1 minus v2 but your step in uh, your uh, potential barrier is v2 minus v1 so that will be equal to minus vt ln ni square upon an a into an d and you can rewrite you can simplify this equation the potential barrier in step graded junction is equal to vt ln an a and d by an i square so this expression is very very important you have lot of questions in gate lot of questions in engineering services prelims and there can be question in engineering services mains and civil services mains so this is how we derive the expression of potential variation across the step graded junction and that is nothing but potential barrier so in step graded junction you can find the electric field induced you can find the potential variation like this so that is how we drive and of course after this let us numerical part that is that is numericals based on this concept thank you